Welcome to part two of Birth of a Transmitter. In this section you'll see how the transmitters were installed and how the last parts of the old GE were removed. The transmitters arrive. After making a cross-country trip, the transmitters arrive on a flatbed truck. All the parts for both transmitters are here. One of the first parts to go in are the high voltage power supplies, while other parts of the transmitter can be broken down. These cannot. This makes for a tight fit. In fact, we barely got it past the transmitter next door. At 3,700 pounds, these things are not easy to maneuver into place. But once they were, it was a tight fit between the old and the new. Here you can see the DTV exciter cabinet going up and here one half of one of the transmitter cabinets. And this is how the transmitter room looks once all the new parts for the transmitter are in place. Here's the digital transmitter in place. The heat exchanger. Using a line attached to the top of the tower, the heat exchanger parts were flown into place. Here you can see the new heat exchanger with the old one in the background. Hundreds of gallons of water are needed for the new heat exchanger. The cooling system is very important and takes up a good part of the installation process. Here you can see the heat exchanger being heated up to help clean it out. This is what cools the IOT's collector. RF system. Here's the plan for the RF run for the digital transmission line. On the left you can see the output of the transmitter and on the right the input to the harmonic filter. Above is the drawing showing the output of the filter. Here's the transmission line as we ran it through the room and up to the roof. Once on the roof, we had to run it to the combiner room, where the mask filter was. And here's the drawing showing how it was supposed to go, and then the actual installation. Here's the NTSC transmitter's filter, and now it installed, hanging from the ceiling. Electrical. Here's the inside of the high voltage power supply. Note the large capacitors. Here in the digital one, it only requires one capacitor. These are the disconnect switches. A new 480 service had to be run into the room for the transmitters. Setting up the transmitters. Once everything was in place, the transmitters themselves had to be wired up. Here's the 480 going to the step start. And this is where the new transmitters interface to external devices. Here's the high voltage compartment of one of the transmitters and with the crowbar assembly installed. The IoT cabinet, control cabinet, and Todd the installer, working hard. Here's an IoT ready to go into service and here it is installed. You can see some of the test equipment off to the right. The back of the exciter cabinet, the front, and the top with all the connections. And now the transmitter is ready to go on the air. After a few tests and adjustments, of course. Removing the rest of the GE. It was quite a mess in taking it down with the new transmitter in place. Again, the cabinets had to be cut down to size to be able to fit through the hallway and doors. Here's the cooling coils from the old heat exchanger. And you can see the motors here in front. It fills a dumpster pretty quickly. Time for the scrap heap. The new transmitter room. The new layout includes an office where you can get away from the noise of the transmitter. You can still see where the old cabinets were. The walls for the new office go up and so does the electrical. At last, a nice quiet office.